Hello, and welcome back. We've almost reached Dragon's Reach. <sighs> you know, something tells me maybe I should start having these videos be longer than 15 minutes of pop. But then again, that would make it much more difficult to upload the videos to YouTube. Be glad you're here. Let's see here, the Dragon's Reach Dungeon. Wow, what a pitiful sight. They don't even keep the dungeon locked. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Hmm. What are you looking at? You have a death wish then? Mm-hmm. If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. Hmm. I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. And so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Hmm. One hundred gold will secure my... I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell... Because I was... Mm. Matu always says, we're supposed to be the best Meh. of the best. What do you need? I wasn't. Ah. Thinking of set... Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Uh... Here, let's see what he has to say. You buy my way out of here, and I'll... Very well. <laughs> Kamatu is west of White Run. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! No, if I set foot in there, we're going to kill everyone in mm -hmm. the building. <laughs> As we aren't fools. Now, let's look at the map here. Swindler's Den's all the way out there. Easiest location to fast travel to to get us close is the Western Watchtower. Now it's walking from there. Actually. Yeah, he's out in Swindler's Den, all right. The other side of that Imperial camp. In a fort, no less. Oh, look. Partially demolished house. What is this? A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Never before have I seen a courier. Just walk on by. Sadly, my thieving skills are not up to snuff. I'll need to improve my sneak and pickpocket abilities before I can attempt to join the Thieves Guild. Ah, hidden chest. With three gold. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so moving along, we'll just circle the fortress just to not bring upon the wrath of the Imperials or bandits or whoever it is that are here. Ah, Fort Greymore.
Come along, Lydia. Pay them no mind. They're just desperate for attention. Like a pack of losers. You shooting at us, bitch pudding? Oh, that's it. Let's see. Where's my hunting bow? And... No, wait. Yeah, let's stick with the iron arrows at this point. Uh, let's see here. That should do it. Yep, that hit him. Right in the goddamn head. One down. about as accurate as a blind badger mole. Since apparently they just had to pick a fight with us as we were passing by, I guess we're killing these bitches. It, at least we're killing the ones on the outside. I'm not going to go into Fort Greymore. I mean, because seriously, what, what the hell kind of a bandit... Goes out of their... Well, you know what? I guess that is what bandits typically do, but it still doesn't make it any more intelligent. Mm. I mean, come on. You, you attack a well-armed pair of strangers passing by? I mean, what kind of intelligent bandit goes after people in pairs? Not a good one, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they're dead. Mm -hmm. Let's see over here. I know that, that on one of these walls we... Ah! Well, apparently here's where all of our arrows went. <laughs> yeah. A lot of arrows. never understood why they would put up target dummies with shields on the walls. I mean, it's not like it fools anyone. He says, after having shot one of them once. <laughs> hmm. Seems like we cleared the exterior of the fort. Okay. Well, I'm not diving any deeper into Fort Greymore right now, but we will most certainly be coming back to it after... We're done slaughtering the Alakir. Who are hiding out in Swindler's Den. <sighs> the words of Sloth from Full Metal Alchemist. Such a pain. Is that how he says it? I think that's how he says it. Hmm. Such beautiful open countryside. <laughs> now, if I could just find a way to get across it faster. What is... It's 
with the wolf noise. Ah, yeah. wolves. Wolves. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not like I was hurrying anywhere. Hmm. Traveling across Skyrim is dangerous. Though, you know, something I don't really understand is why are giants inherently so hostile to you getting close to them? I mean, granted, giant's toes are a popular ingredient uh, at apothecaries, but that, that's not necessarily because of uh, hatred for giants. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, even if that was a good reason for it, elves ears, uh, you know, falmer ears, or technically speaking, uh, why is there a skeever here? You filthy rat fucker. Get out of here. Honestly, filthy rats. But, you know, Falmer ears and other types of elves ear, I'm sure, are also used in potion making. So, what's the dealio, yo? It's didn't really make much sense to be uh, hostile because people use certain body parts from you in potion making. Not like, you know, they're inherently evil about it or anything. They just, you know, want to make some potions. Ah, uh, yes, we're approaching Swindler's Den, if I'm not mistaken. Lydia's fast on my tail. Good, good. Should find it just in time for the episode to come to an end. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, look, another giant walking around out there with his mammoths. Hmm. No, not really. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not really a surprise at all. Well. We are currently one minute short of our goal. So, next time, I will um, continue from here. So, until uh, next time, goodbye.